Welcome everyone on my gaming channel. It's time for another late review. Title for today is War Selection and it's free to play strategy game. Don't worry guys, this is not exactly pay to win kind of game. It's not based on building for months or a few years and you're still struggling to, to compete with the other big spenders on the map. Well, this is very different type of uh, free to play game and it's still free to play it's not exactly pay to win because the game itself gives you opportunities to collect tech points which you can exchange to unlock a nation so i'm going to tell you more about it in this video we're going to start first with the menu then a little bit of gameplay some screenshots a small kind of video from another gameplay and and that's going to be it so the video not going to be too long let me make some changes on the screen first that's the one late review because the game is uh, already one year one year on the platform available to play one year plus this all depends when you're actually watching this video as well early access so this is very important anything what i'm going to tell you or show you in this video might change in the future with the full release of the game of course there are some extra options in the game which i'm going to all tell you about it is definitely if you wanted to compete with other players if you want to try and Believe me, it's not worth to give up too soon. You have to play a little bit to get used to the game, to understand what's going on around there. Keep on trying. You're gonna get pissed off because the game is hard. This is not like, uh, well, it's not that easy. Then you can shield up uh, and then just don't care. Uh, this is something which you have to just play, finish and start again. Play, finish, start again. It's a real time strategy. Let's go for it. Okay, we are in the menu. Uh, straight away I want to tell you about like you can see on the right side there have been a new nation released just recently uh, the next one coming this month probably at least that's what they said there is a uh, some mega tournament right now against some players you can click on the full information if you are interested in stuff like this and you can uh, go for it don't worry about the time because something like this is coming and going you know time to time it's just uh, something some special events are happening uh, so language changes and everything else uh, sound music uh, scale auto scaling all that stuff graphic quality is very important so if you don't see the graphic in some amazing way let's turn on the battle demonstration and so you see that the terrain there is some resources here and there's going to be only some units coming uh, do a little bit of fighting it's going to be like a massive slaughterhouse here in, in a couple of minutes, but I'm not going to show you everything. This is not really the point. The longer you watch, then you're going to see the more advanced units uh, over the age. It's just like made it like this. It's, I think it's pretty cool. But the thing is, then you have to build first. You need to collect enough resources, your workers, and then to um, go in with the proceed with some researches and stuff so you can make more advanced units and uh, fight with the opponents the opponents is diff depends how many players you're going to be in your range at the time so that's why on the left side when you're going to see the mode free for all and uh, connection quality is very important here uh, this is very important because the better you have then less luck you have but i can tell you guys i was playing with three players against me and it was a little bit luck but not for long only for like five, five, first five minutes of the game and that was all okay and then i have a, a matches with 12 players uh, out there and there was no lag whatsoever then again sometimes it's a lag sometimes not but don't quit the map right away even if you're gonna end up in the middle of the map because i noticed then some players doing that as long as they're on the, in the middle they think they're gonna lose because they're gonna be attacked from all the sides it's not always the case i actually managed to win a few times uh, from that location I do get angry on this game a lot of times I can tell you straight away game got six out of six out of ten that's the score from me uh, I'm gonna tell you more about it during the gameplay but first we're gonna go to the game store sorry guys I'm not showing you the prices because the price is all depending on your location so it's always gonna change if you're in the United States or Britain or in Asia somewhere that the prices are all different because if you know different uh, there is a law about this kind of stuff and uh, taxation on the games uh, and in some countries the many games are even blocked so you really have to check it out your platform the game is available on Steam like I, I think I mentioned that I'm not sure anyway uh, 
pretty good, worth to check it out. And what is all about that nation stuff? Depend, depends which one you're gonna choose. There is gonna be some advanced advantage for you over other players. Uh, so let's say Germany got super heavy tanks, extra long range artillery and, and more. I'm not gonna tell you everything. Uh, but India got some super some nice soldiers, tanks, wildfire, wild wildlife power. Sorry, so it's very interesting. It's it's something for for everyone to choose some something which you might looking for, uh, and I'm looking forward what they're gonna unlock next. The France is a little, cost a little bit more tech points because like if you wanna unlock any of those, if you don't wanna pay, you collect tech points you unlock any of them for 10,000. I got uh, <laughs> just above half, so I need to play a little bit more. So for winning or losing, you're gonna get uh, those tech points. Even if you lose them, sometimes you can get a pretty decent number. It depends on the number of the players, I think, on the map uh, and how fast you're gonna actually lose the battle. Um, all win, of course. I wish you all guys gonna win and having really lots of fun on the game even if really I'm getting angry on it. <laughs> uh, but what I was saying, uh, France was unlocked uh, recently. That means that you need to spend 15,000 tech points for it. Uh, but really, it's up to you. If you don't want to collect those tech points, you can just purchase one of the nation if you enjoy, and then you can compete with other players who already have a nation. And this is the tricky part. This is not pay to win. This is something what we can do by playing and trying and there are a mix of maps, it's a random. So you can get the players who have some of those nations unlocked and you can have a players who doesn't, like me. So, and I did win a few times against uh, actually players who did have unlocked. Um, well, maybe they've been busy with attacking someone else and I took advantage of it. There are plenty of different strategies which you can, uh, you can adjust yourself, your gameplay after practicing a little bit how you want to play your map uh, with the map because the map the terrain your location everything is so important but uh, let's just go and dig in a little bit more in here you can purchase everything in one go uh, so this is really cool and let's not forget then there's going to be also the uh, single player here some campaign uh, so this is what I'm looking for this is all under construction let's say you know there are some more options here then you can team up with other players there is also uh, matches like this available here uh, so, and you can go and try whatever you can uh, battle one-on-one -on -one, you can try that but free to free fall is one of the most popular and this is what we're going to try now i'm going to go and show you a little bit of a multiplayer because it, this can get um, 15 minutes long or can be even over an hour I had both like this, I think even one and a half an hour map. There was very intense and lots of fights, exchanges uh, of um, attacks and defenses. Well, I do getting pissed off when, when I'm trying to defend against one player and then another attacking me from in the same time from another side. So that's just annoying. Six out of 10 and not, for example, seven, because I'm really, really, unhappy with some of the units in this game are freaking too strong I think in my opinion so what you have to do is uh, build some houses and try to build yourself uh, fast as possible of course you can don't look at how I play because this is only for the video I don't really care what's going on too much I just want to show you some basics what's what you're supposed to expect here so first when you're clicking, oh yes, that icon I need to check on another screen if I'm showing correctly. Uh, I think it's with F1. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, you actually see how many uh, workers you got at the moment, what they're doing, and then uh, how many players are online on that battle. Uh, so let, whatever you do, you don't try to get your workers at the beginning uh, to not doing anything. Actually, those workers supposed to already start building the house in the first place at least one of them not all of them we got the scout as well and i can tell you a very important part if you didn't try this game yet uh there is there are animals like you can see but they are wild animals here as well and only the scout 
is the unit as far as I know, then it's not going to get attacked by those. Uh, you can see the tiger, boar and three of them. So this is very dangerous area. If you're going to send a worker here, then they're going to attack, attack him. They can even follow him if you want to try to escape uh, to your I HQ uh, and then you're going to get in trouble. Uh, you can click right right side on the on the wood and and then is they gonna collect it uh, I'm really trying to talk fast uh, because this video I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for me to finish I don't want to make it too long I can see the mammoths there are some some units are very strong here even when it comes to white white life you know <laughs> uh, where is that guy he's hiding somewhere whatever Okay, so we're sending him uh, on the map, but it's not really big deal. And we're trying to build uh, some basics first uh, to get uh, resources. Uh, the units are not that not that stupid. Of course, if you're not going to give them any order, they're just going to stay still. But if you're going to give them the building like this one, uh, something to do with the resources, then they're actually going to start working uh, and trying to collect something in the, which is most closest you know, to them. You need plenty of resources and it's faster you're gonna get all of this then faster you can progress uh, in the meantime you try to check it out the map as soon some scouts gonna show up here from other players I've seen some updates here and there uh, also very cool very important uh, let me just send uh, some worker here so you can see then this is more like age of empires which you can send collect and all that kind of stuff there's really not big a deal uh, about anything else here later on it's going to be more interesting and i think that there is few stages of the game which is going to be intense beginning because there you can attack or defend yourself with the basic units basic fighting units uh, those workers are pretty they are good for what they're doing right now but nothing else really there is a water so it's some naval battles time to time but they're very rare uh, and what the miners like I wanted to say before I didn't want to give them higher score because let's face it some of the units here are very strong very annoying and artillery long-range artillery and stuff when somebody gonna show up with the stuff uh, with the units like this then you might get in trouble and some players are building you know loads of defenses loads of towers <clears throat> in some areas some moments you can this gonna help of course it will but later on you have to realize then as soon as, as you're gonna lose your HQ your tempo I calling it HQ uh, then you, you that uh, game over you know there's nothing which you can do you don't have to destroy any buildings or units as long as you get this building you know crashed then then you're good to go oh and this is important what i'm doing now you have to choose between if you're gonna go with the eastern or western civilizations you know the europe or asia and then etc you're choosing which side of europe as well so you got a little bit different type of units out there too uh, you can see then some of the, the nice ideas here with the towers you can have a little bit you know like a bowman is shooting from it or you can have some small cannons very very cool uh, ideas but even if you're gonna purchase the nation you still have to go through the basic I think standard of the map and you still have to go to the uh, age when you when you can actually unlock you know the special qualities special units all that kind of goodies which nation gonna provide it uh, with uh, when you're gonna actually get any it's gonna take a while for me I'm not rushing and I didn't purchase the reason for it is that I'm waiting for cyberpunk right now and I'm gonna play cyberpunk more than strategy game right now but I did spend a little bit of time on on this one. I did have fun. And, and I, I can recommend it you guys to try. 
Um, okay, I was talking about these defenses. Check it out this video when the guy was actually having loads of defenses on the right side. I could send my troops there because I had enough to absolutely crush and ruin everything. But in the same time, I was thinking then it's going to be interesting part to show you on the left how easy it was to finish the map. Okay, I'm upgrading my workers right now. It's very, very cool how we can do this all with uh, just a few clicks. Everything is working perfectly. And we already start sending some of them to collect another type of resources for the next one. But what you saw in the video, you saw the few artillery, few cannons. You didn't have a huge army. I think you need some troops to defend that because the enemy can surprise you with the you know the same kind of strength or even better ones uh, but uh, well you know that's what happened well, let me just grab those and get some food done because this we're gonna need a lot of food this is really just the beginning I uh, need to actually rush with all of this stuff shouldn't wait and you can't focus on one type of resources Actually, I need to have something like this. Um, this is actually important part. In longer, if far away those warehouses are, then it's worse for you. You need to have it as close as possible. Uh, like I said, this is only for purpose of the video. If I would be playing the game, I would discover this map a little bit better way, focus on it, and actually build this one a little bit closer to it. Because why those guys need to waste so much time, uh, you know, by walking? It's really a lot big time waster here. Now I don't have enough resources, so I have to collect it uh, to actually doing it. Um, maps are random, different. You can end up in very rich one, very rich location, generous with uh, lots of uh, resources, lots of iron. Uh, trees and everything else so you just have no problem whatsoever with making that kind of decisions uh, the faster we're gonna build this then better and you're just sending more more guys to work so you guys see then as long as we start building this uh, they are collecting the food uh, have a look on those screenshots how far you can go uh, the, some of those units are incredible powerful they're very difficult to destroy so that's why i was saying about stages of the game first you think about not getting you know uh ruin just at the beginning or like right now oh i actually have a look here they're gonna hunt me down and you can actually win with those basic units that's the first units which you can make in the game uh and then it's gonna be just fun for you i'm totally lo in lost position here right now no resources no no future i'll just say it. they cannot even finish building this because there is nothing what i can use it for okay we have got enough plenty of food so playing like this is a big mistake you need to really focus on the beginning to avoid all the kind of mistakes never play like that like this this could be an interesting map but i really don't uh, i really have to finish this video i didn't want to make it too long it's just i just really want to show you guys there is something out there which you don't have to spend your money you can still enjoy you can build your defenses you can build your wall you can build your towers you can defend or you can build some troops and go and you know first defend and go and attack and, there is plenty of options uh, how you can uh, manage your strategy to the situation but there is uh, something else 
except that you just really have to remember when some of the players might have those nations unlocked and if they're gonna choose it they're gonna use it right that's why they everyone wanted to unlock them and I think some of the maps against if everyone will have uh, some kind of nation then you know with the heavy tanks long range cannons it's gonna be very fun if you're actually gonna have something on your side which will go against that kind of uh, units I was wanted to show you so few those few screenshots uh, because there is really really cool ideas uh, some of the units I was a little bit impressed I'm not fully impressed because I'm pretty playing uh, playing a uh, lots of games uh, but it's really there are some some titles out there uh, so there's not really a point to to do it too much here let's just for fun let's go and attack the, the player uh, if I can make it with just, just some few units just for fun I, I lost here anyway you can always type it say hello uh, you always can see if there's any answer if anyone sometimes is everyone is totally mute focused on the game and trying to destroy each other another time having plenty plenty of fun uh, just chatting uh, and, and trying to exchange some informations uh, last time I I had some some uh, player with uh, nation from Germany and he constructs some super huge cannon which I'm not going to show you in this video because this that I don't want to spoil it too much but there are some stuff here which are really worth to have a look and this is the uh, scout from the enemy so he's gonna see and this is so much so easy to destroy you don't have, need to have a troops really against me I mean not that many I think 10 guys would be already enough if I'm gonna make those uh, my few soldiers then he's gonna need a little bit more but he's gonna come destroy the tower destroy the queue and drop down okay and then he can move and fight with the others and this is just continuous continues uh, to play this way it's really really lots of fun of course it's not fun when you're playing for one hour you're trying to construct everything and you're surviving so far and then you're gonna someone gonna show up with you with that artillery what i mentioned and just gonna destroy you just like that you know that's that, that, that's not fun the, the fun is over in that moment because at the beginning it's all funny but later when it's a heavily cavalry artillery and there is a heavy artillery and there's a super heavy artillery you know that can be very very intense a few times I had also like this I want to tell you this is gonna be the last thing what I'm gonna <laughs> blah 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 in this video a few times I did have the situation see that's why using the scout first to go I had a situation when I actually attacked the guy and he attacked me back then we managed both managed both sides managed to defend and then having a little bit more fun on the map and then he left the game I don't know without any reason and I won so that was a little bit uh, I wasn't happy with that kind of winning there's a tiger here this means there is not the, uh, not the enemy sometimes I was frustrating because the enemy was way too close but I think sooner or later I have to go and find him yeah there is one yeah I know he don't want me to go that that way that direction but and he got some friends here so this is all cool but this is just uh, for fun you want to actually fight with someone else this is some of the units are really not that super clever
So of course this is all for, for fun, for like a demo and I want to show you the guy, uh, how this all works. If I have more troops, more heavy, you can upgrade them, make them really strong. Uh, then it's, it's just going to be uh, super cool to play. But you can't do mistakes like this, then your workers do not not doing anything. You need, even if I got 5000 food, one upgrade can cost like this or even more. You can keep expanding your territory uh, the thing what you see and uh, the enemy doing exactly the same thing so you just need to remember about that wow my 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 few more white troops still survive that was shocking uh, maybe we can uh, attack him one more time with the later upgrades there is important also that yeah that is the important part when you're gonna get your HQ on a little bit higher level, blah, 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 blah. Then you're gonna see the capital of each player, where they are located. They got exactly the same thing against you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanna, really wanna introduce you something different out there. If you're tired of titles like Match of Empires or Game of Thrones or something else, because uh, those titles are definitely, you know, you can enjoy playing it. Uh, I don't want to say any negative things about it, but in the end, yeah, they have pay to win. This one, you might pay only once and then you can enjoy the game um, as much as you want. Unless there are going to be some uh, other additional uh, changes. You can see that you can actually see the big part of this map. Uh, now for fun we're gonna go with this or from this side huge armies uh, you can actually manage to to make this in, in more fun than this and remember to use uh, the wildlife you know the trees uh, and everything else to build some kind of some kind of uh, you know difficulties for your for your enemy to to get to get in touch with you even the that guy is against me okay they got some special units here that's really cool oh they can go i don't really care now this is a very different different situation when we are just focused and we're trying to fight or not fight and there is another enemy another player gonna show up here and do exactly the same thing so this is really really cool I thought that the game was actually going to be over long ago. And then it focus on uh, actually killing some of them is, uh, is on an option. I can see them actually going to a different age. But the most important for you guys is to destroy an HQ. And the reason why I can't attack this is because those units are not advanced enough to do any kind of damage to that structure. This is also important. You have to do it everything in the right uh, right time and well guys just I'm gonna leave it this to you just figure it out if you would like to more videos from this game let me know in the comments below uh, sorry if I'm cutting moment some moments uh, but I really wanted to save time and not making the video way too long so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy check out the war selection because if you like the strategies you are definitely gonna enjoy some time on it I can't tell you then you're gonna enjoy it fully uh, but there is definitely some options here for it uh, so I will see you on my next video make sure you're gonna check out my channel and the playlist for more because I keep uh, checking and adding more titles more games on it see you next time